they're from a first world country and you're going over to kind of less developed countries and you're getting a sugar mama from there like an older sugar mama just to save a few dollars and then a lot of guys they post comments they're like what you flew 300 miles to date that woman like because sometimes the woman just isn't very physically attractive and he was posting photos with like a 57 year old thai woman and he was like yeah man i got this baddie i, I flew over to bangkok got me a baddie and then you're gonna post on the internet flexing like you're you're smashing the baddies when in reality you know you're kind of hitting bottom of the barrel Hey, my fellow travelers, it's your captain Danny Flight here. I'm here in China. As some of you may know, I've been living in China for almost 10 years now, teaching English. And the online teaching that I've been doing has allowed me a lot of freedom to travel. And uh, this week in China is a very special week because it's a holiday. It's like the mid-autumn festival. So we have a lot of travelers in the city. And also Kanye West is in town this week. He's giving a performance. Um, a lot of girls I know are going crazy for his performance because uh, it's out on the Hainan Island. And, you know, a lot of girls flew out there just to see him. And uh, it seems like it's a really big event. Anyways, enough about China. I wanted to speak on some stuff today that really got under my skin that I've been seeing on the Internet, on these YouTube streets, you know. So I'm a big fan of this uh, YouTube fitness influencer named Brandon Carter. Um, he posts a lot of motivational kind of business stuff, and I really like his content. Um, and recently, he's been posting clips with this kind of dating coach. His name is Game God Goldie. So I've been seeing him post a lot of clips with this guy Goldie, and this guy Goldie, I guess he helps men with women. Um, like he's kind of like he gives kind of not pickup advice because like pickup artists maybe they kind of give more specific advice but this guy seems to give general dating advice but i can't really believe that brandon carter is co-signing this guy because i really disagree with a lot of things this guy uh, goldie says i don't have any beef with dating coaches or pickup artists because i think a lot of the advice they give can be very useful in certain situations i don't really have any beef with that i just have a beef specifically with what this guy goldie the advice he's giving out because um, it just seems really uh, like bad advice. It seems pretty terrible. So it seems like this guy Goldie, his main message is that men should focus on the inner beauty of women rather than the outer beauty, right? So we should kind of focus on how women treat us rather than mainly focusing on how the women looks. And I understand that, right? Like, that's a pretty understandable message. It's not, that's not too extreme. And I've heard of this kind of messaging before from guys in the passport bro travel community. Like there are some guys who they post photos of the women that they meet in these foreign countries. And then a lot of guys, they post comments. They're like, what? You flew 300 miles to date that woman? Like, because sometimes the woman just isn't very physically attractive. Like yesterday, I saw a post from a guy. He's in his 30s and he flew to Thailand. And he was posting photos with like a 57 year old Thai woman. And he was like, yeah, man, I got this baddie. I, I flew over to Bangkok, got me a baddie. And guys are responding like, what? Like, you think this is a baddie? And then he responded, I'm dating her because she buys things for me. She takes care of me. Um, young girls, you just want to spend your money and they don't really want to do anything for you. So basically he's dating her. He's dating that 57 year old Thai woman for how she treats him rather than rather than just her physical appearance and okay i can respect that fine you know me personally i'm not interested in smashing older women just to save a few dollars but that's just me i know a lot of you guys disagree and i know a lot of guys who are into like the older sugar mama thing it's not my thing but i know a lot of guys who are into that but this is kind of my first time hearing this kind of messaging from a guy who's a dating coach like he's going on different podcasts and it seems like his main message is that, you know, don't go for that beautiful woman, man. Just go for that girl. Like, you know, she might not be that attractive, but she's loyal to you. She likes you without you needing to put any work in. You know, those women, those beautiful women that you got to chase after, those women aren't going to be loyal to you, man. And they're going to be hard to maintain. Just go for the easy women, the, the women who, you know, you don't have to do no work and they're just they're loyal automatically. And my thing is that, Okay, if that's your main advice to just kind of go for women who aren't difficult, go for like the easier to manage women, then why do I need game advice for that? Like, are you, you know, are you, you call yourself a game god, but 
do I really need advice if you're just telling me to kind of lower my standards and play on easy mode rather than having to, you know, put up with more difficult challenges? Here's the deal, guys. So it seems pretty clear that the more beautiful a woman is, like the more options she has with other guys and the more in demand she is, the more effort it's going to take to get and keep her. That seems pretty universal. Like pretty much every country I've been to, every guy I've spoken to, we all have the same experience. The more beautiful she is, the more in demand, the more work you're probably going to have to put in to get that girl and keep her happy, you know? It's kind of supply and demand, and I think most guys understand that. And I think it's the same with any attractive person. If you're dealing with a guy, you know, you want to do business with him, but he's really successful and he has lots of other people he can do business with, he's probably going to have more requirements of you if you want to work with him. And at the end of the day, it's up to you. Like, do you want to put in the work to meet his requirements, meet his demands to be a business part partner with him? Or do you want to just like kind of give up and go for someone maybe who's easier, who's not as good that who's, you know, who's less in demand. So with beautiful women, you're either willing to try to give them what they want to get them or you aren't. And if you aren't willing to give them what they want, they're, they're probably going to go try to find a guy who will. And unfortunately, it seems that, you know, the more beautiful a woman is, the kind of less attached to reality she is and like the more extreme her demands might get. Because a lot of them, they kind of grew up in a situation where they have a lot of privileges for being beautiful. It's called like pretty privilege, right? They get lots of things just thrown at them just for being beautiful and they don't really have to work for them. And when you kind of, if you're a woman who grows up in that kind of environment, you might main, you might develop some pretty extreme expectations for what a guy should give you. So for example, like here in China, if you're a beautiful woman, you know, beautiful women here, they get tons of money thrown at them by Chinese guys. Like, I know you guys have probably seen those stories about some girl, like she has a rich guy fly her out and you know, she gets like 20 iPhones. That kind of stuff is very common here. Like Chinese guys spend a lot of money on women. They throw down a lot of cash. And a lot of times they don't even get anything in return. Like they spend all this money and the woman doesn't even sleep with them or anything. But it's really common here in China. So basically it takes a lot of skill to get and manage very beautiful women. And unless the woman grows up in some kind of super poor country where she can't work and she doesn't have access to money, um, she probably has, if she's like in a normal like country with a pretty decent sized middle class, she probably has access to a lot of guys who are fairly wealthy and, you know, she probably has tons of unlimited stimulation being thrown at her on a regular basis. Like you guys probably wouldn't believe the kind of options that beautiful women have thrown at them on a regular basis. You wouldn't, it would blow your mind if you looked into the, the phone of like a beautiful woman and you seen the kind of stuff that guys were texting her like offering her like $20,000 just for one night or something crazy like that. And guys were like, you know, that, that's pretty common over here too in China. Like guys blowing up women's inbox and offering, you know, uh, pretty huge amounts of money just for a few hours of pleasure uh, is pretty common. So for a lot of guys who don't want to deal with that, you know, their main method that I've seen is for them to kind of lower their standards and go for easier women who are, you know, they don't take as much energy to manage and they're usually less attractive. And um, yeah, that's fine. Like if that's your thing, if you don't want to put in the effort for beautiful women, that's fine. But don't be out here on podcasts trying to give dating advice and calling yourself a game of God when you're out here hooking up with women that aren't very attractive physically, that, that just aren't in demand because why would I need your game advice for that type of woman? Guys, here's what game is for. Game is for helping you to get and keep women who are at or above your value level in whatever society you're in. Because depending on the society you're in, your value level might change. It might be higher or lower. As a lot of you guys know who travel to other countries, usually your value level gets a lot higher and it makes things a lot easier for you. Um, but you really, for women who are kind of lower value then you like lower value in that society. You don't really need game to get those types of women. Uh, maybe America is the only country where women who are low value, they think they're really high value and they, they have as many demands as high value women. But in most countries, it's not like that. In most countries, women kind of know their place in the hierarchy and they behave accordingly. And here's the game that a lot of those guys like Goldie are running. 
they aren't really choosing women based on how much they like the woman. They're choosing the women based on how much the women like them. So for me, for example, I go for women who I'm very physically attracted to, and then I might filter out women based on their behavior or how much I like her personality, etc. But for these guys, it seems like physical appearance kind of is like a, not so much an afterthought, but they don't put as much emphasis on it. So they're kind of going for women who they make, um, you know, they just in general from the beginning, those women show a lot of interest and they aren't offering much resistance. And uh, I'm not sure how much physical appearance factors into their choice, but based off what I've seen, guys who are choosing women based on their behavior, the physical appearance is usually significantly lower, like not very high. Like it's just not very high based off what I've seen for those types of guys. I mean, come on guys, like where are the eights and nines who are well behaved, who don't cause any problems? Um, those types of women don't exist, like pretty much all women are going to bring problems into your life and the more beautiful she is it seems like the more problems she's going to bring it seems like you know it's kind of you got to take the good with the bad right i mean can you find women who are you know who don't cause you any drama or stress and who are very supportive of you and you know they never complain about anything yeah you can find those types of women are those types of women usually very physically attractive usually not based off what i've seen um Usually you kind of got to take the good with the bad, you know, if you want, uh, the more beautiful they are, the more problems they're going to bring into your life. That's just kind of how it is, guys. So I know a lot of guys don't want to deal with that, though. And for that unattractive girl who treats you very nice, like, do you think that she's special or something? I mean, okay, for example, if that girl who's like a five, like if she was, if she was a, she's a five, if she was a nine, do you think that she would be behaving the same way that she's behaving? I mean... A five will be happy to wash your underwear and buy you things and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But I guarantee you guys, like, if she was a nine, a, a nine is not going to be happy to wash your dirty underwear. I, I don't care, guys. That five, she's just the same as all the other girls. The problem is that she got unlucky in life and she wasn't born very attractive or for some reason she doesn't take care of her appearance. So her value in society is lower. And it's a shame, but, you know, she's basically the same as the nine. She just didn't get lucky in life. And this kind of relates to the Passport Bro travel community because it seems that a lot of guys in the travel community are kind of selling this dream that you can get baddies, you can get, like, hot dimes just based off your American passport. Just go over to the foreign country, oh, you're American. They're going to choose you. You can be fat and sloppy, broke, it doesn't matter. Just, you know, go over there and get baddies. It's kind of a dream that they've been selling in the travel community for a few years now. And I've always said that unless you're paying for women, you're gonna need more than just a passport to get really top tier women. Um, you're probably gonna need at least be a little bit good looking, at least halfway decent. Or, and it helps if you have game, right? Like we're talking about game today. It helps if you have game, if you wanna deal with those kind of top tier women, because they require management skills, right? But a lot of you guys don't want to hear that. You know, a lot of you guys just going to go overseas and you don't want to put in the effort to get, you know, attractive women. So you're kind of going to lower your standards. And then you're going to post on the Internet flexing like you're, you're smashing the baddies. When in reality, you know, you're kind of hitting the bottom of the barrel. But, yeah, that's just kind of how it goes. And for that guy, Goldie, it's really interesting because apparently he's gotten criticized by guys who've seen him with women and they've seen like the women he's with aren't very attractive. And they're like, okay, how are you out here giving game advice um, when you're over here smashing like threes, fours, and fives? So, it, I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if, if Goldie is out here hitting up women in their 50s. It seems really common for these types of guys. That's the kind of behavior they engage in. And on that note, I don't know where you guys get the stamina or energy to go to bed with these types of women. Like for me, I don't care what a woman buys me or how loyal she is. I'm not willing to smash a three. Like, I just can't do it. Um, it's really shocking that a lot of you guys are regularly hooking up with these types of women in exchange for money. Like, oh, the woman, she buys me stuff, so, you know, I'm going to go to bed with her. Like, come on, man. Like, you're from a first world country, and you're going over to kind of less developed countries, and you're getting a sugar mama from there, like an older sugar mama, just to save a few dollars. 
I mean, I can't get into that kind of mindset, but it's super common. Like I've seen it so often. And this topic kind of ties into how a lot of Western men have pretty low standards, especially black men. Like, I don't know why this guy is giving advice that men should just kind of lower their standards and go for the easier woman, because that's something that a lot of black guys do already. Like a lot of black guys, we already have kind of the reputation for being willing to smash anything and not having very high standards. So I'm not sure why you would need to give guys advice that, that they already do already. I saw one of the videos and he was talking about how men only hook up with beautiful women just for social validation. Like we only, ch we mainly chase beautiful women just because we want the approval of other people the rate to raise our status in society. And I can see that in certain situations, but I think that overall, that's not the main motivator for most guys. If we're talking about perception, one thing you guys gotta understand is that it lowers the perceived value of black men if we're seen as willing to go to bed with anything. Like if black guys are out here smashing any and everything, it kind of makes women value black men less because they know that a lot of us don't have any standards. So she's not gonna feel very valuable if she's with you, if she knows that you're probably gonna be down to smash anything, no matter what, what the woman looks like, you know? And it just seems like this dating coach is trying to justify his low standards by saying that the less attractive women treat him better. And for you guys who are wondering what path you should follow, like should you go for women based off how they treat you and kind of disregard their appearance, or should you kind of go for the attractive women who you really want, you know, let's be honest here, you probably really want that, but maybe she's more difficult to deal with. You kind of got to ask yourself, what kind of life do you want to live? And are you willing to put in the work to get that kind of life? I respect your decision if you're consciously going for women who treat you better and looks really don't matter that much to you. But don't lie to yourself and act like she's different than all the others. Because I guarantee that if she was a hot chick, she would be just as demanding as all other women. And don't be out here giving dating advice if you're not hooking up with beautiful women. Because, you know, what do we need your advice for? You know, guys are already smashing unattractive women they don't need they don't need your advice to follow that already they're already doing it man so what do you guys think are you willing to go to bed with less attractive women if it means that you get better treatment i know a lot of you guys are i'm not but i know a lot of you guys are so leave a comment down below and let me know what you think and i'll respond back as fast as i can and that's all for today and i'll see y'all next time bye bye